Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome back to another edition of 10 Count. I'm Steve Fall, but on today's edition, I'm sitting down with Matt Cardona. How are you doing today? I am doing great. Uh, like you said off air, the last time we spoke, I was in a sling, but I'm all better, baby. I'm always ready. Oh, your arms working. Everything's great. Oh, because yeah. yeah, I feel like last time I talked to you, I like I got you like, right out of the hospital. Like you showed up, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like they were wheeling you into this room for this interview. Oh and boy! You, and uh, you looked uh, a little under the weather. Maybe the pain pills were kicking in. I'm not mm. sure. But finally, you're here. You're great. But unfortunately, you don't have the NWA championship with you. It's behind I do you. Not. I do not. Well, that's you know that's just yeah, you know, But I yeah. don't have the real deal. Uh, I was not pinned. At Hard Times 3. This is true. Tyrus pinned Trevor Murdoch. Um, and you know what? Tyrus is the champ. I'm kind of happy because he is the number one best-selling, uh, not only author, but Major Bendies. Uh, that's my toy line. So if, if the guy who is the NWA champion is the number one best-seller of my toy line, yeah, I'm still making money. <laughs> I'm that's still true. making money. That's so true. It's all I good. And why do you think that, like, it seems like Twitter, because Twitter's not the real world, but why do you think some people on Twitter are very upset about Tyrus becoming the champion? Is it association with Fox and they think political views uh, somehow affect your wrestling in the ring? I have no idea. Uh, maybe they're upset that I'm not the champion. That's know, true, Because I, I am the savior of NWA. Maybe they want the NWA to be saved, and they know that the only guy who can do that is always ready Matt Cardona. This is true, too. This is true, yeah. too. And, and uh, I guess the former Mr. NWA, Nick Aldis, ha has left the company. He's no longer there. And again, it seems like no one's that upset that he he left. And, and it, he's upset, obviously, but yet fan base is like, eh, what are you going to do? And, and that's interesting because I was shocked when he announced, you know, I'm leaving the company and then Billy suspended him and then all this is rolled out mm -hmm. and more controversy is appearing. But like... Why do you think Nick left on his on his own? Well, you know, Nick was the face of NWA for so many years. He did a great job representing the company, um, not only as the face of the company, but as the champion. You know, you thought of the NWA, you thought of Nick Aldis. Uh, him and I, we never really got to, you know, have our, our final battle. Uh, I got injured at Always Ready. You know, Nick is a... Uh, He's a top tier athlete, top tier performer. I have all the respect in the world for him. Why he left, I mean, that that's his business, but it doesn't affect me personally or professionally. So I really don't give a damn. So he's not making bendies for you. He's not making you cash. Yeah. I, I, if Nick wants a major bendy, you know, uh, have his people call my people. Maybe we can make it happen. But he's not currently signed to uh, major bendies. Uh, well, hopefully we can get that deal going because <laughs> it seems like Tyrus is moving. He's on number one cable shows with the NWA championship. Selling bendies, but yet no bendies for Mr. NWA himself. But though, when I typed your name in on Twitter, yep. you and your wife's name pop up instantly. There's always mm. all these rumors, all these mm. rumblings that Chelsea Green and not Zack Ryder, Matt Cardona, are going to return back to the WWE. Obviously, mm. you're not going to tell me yes or no. But no, I, are you are you <laughs> see are you seeing these rumors of as well? Of course, I, I'm the internet champion. Of course, yeah. I see what's being talked about. You know. Uh, listen, let the people talk. I, I mean, I am a former tag team champion, a former intercontinental champion, former United States champion. I, I do have some unfinished business. There's, there's one more left. That's true. You know? There's and one more left. Now, do you think if you to, did to return quote, to quote Justin Bieber, oh, God. never say never. That's Justin Bieber. Uh, you, know, you don't know that song? Never say never. Uh, well, I've heard that saying before Justin Bieber. That's why I'm like, I don't know. I think he invented it. Oh, very good. I, ho I hope that makes uh, clickbait headlines. Matt Cardona quotes Justin Bieber, never say never in regards to his WWE return. You know, it's funny. I never know what headlines are going to be pulled for my interviews lately. I I'll do a half an hour, and I'm thinking, oh, that's the one. I can't believe that person just right. said that. And it's not right. that one. It's like uh, they crapped on you know, some weird TV show that was on <laughs> Nickelodeon back in the day. And I'm like, what? That's the headline? Like, shit, that guy just crapped on that yeah. person. <laughs> what are you doing? But yet you think the fact that Matt Cardona is the one, obviously that's your name and people, sure. but would it confuse you think the WWE audience, not the other people who know what you're doing right now, but like a kid who maybe knows who Zack Ryder is, but seeing Matt Cardona show up, is that going to be like, wait a minute, it's like Spider-Man pointing at each other? Um, you know, maybe for some people, but I think the whole wrestling community is smarter. Uh, I mean, look at it this way. When, when Scott Hall came back as Scott Hall in 2002, 
I mean, they got it. Yeah. Right? yeah. They, they Wait knew a who minute. Was. Who is, uh, is this right, guy new? They got it. Um, <laughs> And if they didn't know, they'll find out real soon. There he is. That's there he is. If you're watching the video, that's bone crunching uh, series one Razor Ramon. That's right. Uh, And he he's still holding together well. His arms a little uh, flimsy, but uh, Mm -hmm. yeah, series one, right? With a series one, Diesel, Bret Hart. Oh yeah, Uh, I have that. I have that uh, hand painted prototype in my toy room. Oh my! Oh my! That's interesting. Um, also, it's interesting is Bully Ray seems to hate you. Well, I don't like him either. So (laughs) there you go. But like, <laughs> I talk when I talked to him before. I think your name like got up, brought up for a second. I was like, "Oh yeah, Matt Cardona." He's like, "He's a piece of garbage." I'm like, well, oh. we, got a, we got a big match coming up at the ECW Arena in December. Uh, I believe it's December seventeenth. And uh, you know, he's been extreme shaming me on the internet, saying I'm not extreme, I'm not hardcore, but I am. I'm an ECW original. I'm the Death Match King. And when I uh, when I face him in the ring, I'm gonna put his ass through a door because tables are so early 2000s. It's all about the doors now, you know. <laughs> Keep on get the doors. That's oh, what my. I'm gonna say. I can't. And the crowd will might yell back with you. I hope. I, yes, I you we'll know. Find out. We'll, we'll, we'll find, find out, out with the with the doors. Interesting that he says that because there's images in uh, outstanding video of you being pelted by bottles left and right, bleeding all yeah. over the ring, giving your heart and your soul. And bully maybe is a little upset that. You know, you're being embraced by this hardcore audience and he's kind of being pushed out. Well, you know, Bully, he doesn't really take bookings anymore. You know, I mean, even uh, even Sirius won't bring him into the studio. They, they make him do it from his house, you know, so so he's a little jealous that I am the new face of extreme um, and I'm going to end him once and for all in the ECW arena. Mm, I cannot I cannot wait to see what happens there. But yet Friday. November uh, 18th, Impact Wrestling Overdrive's happening. You're getting a tag team championship match. Oh, my God. How many things can I promote in a half hour? I mean, yes. I got them all here. Don't you worry, buddy. The the major player is going for the Impact Tag Team Gold. Uh, Man, it would be great to – I think it's in Louisville. Uh, It'd be great to leave Louisville as the the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Uh, My schedule is so goddamn busy. The the next day is another Impact taping. Then I go right to GCW. Um. It, 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 it's the best right now. I have the best schedule. Uh, it's crazy, but I'm my own boss, so I can only blame myself. Oh, uh, how come I'm so tired? How come this flight's really? Old? Oh, cause, cause I booked it. Uh, because you got to hustle. You got to be uh, a self-made superstar. I'm going to push myself. That's fine. Uh, um, listen, I'm not saying I'm the hardest worker in pro wrestling, but name someone who works harder than me. That's all I'm going to say. That's true. I, 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 off the top of my head, I can't think of somebody. <laughs> Uh, maybe Val Venus holding all these hot dogs. Hello, ladies. Uh, or or Ke- Hungry Hungry Camp Patera. We got arrested for trying to break into a McDonald's, if uh, anyone knows that backstory. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> where did he go from the 80s when he was on TV as the main star? He went to jail. That's where he went, if you didn't mm, know that. Okay. If you want to look that up. Wrestling fun stories. Yeah, fun trivia fact here. So I'm not sure if you know, since you're the internet champion, but Sarah Logan, Maxi and Paler, I have the picture on my phone right here. Sarah Logan recently came back to the WWE. And there's her face, and there's Maxi Impaler. And people are, are comparing the two, saying they are Sarah Logan ripped off Max. Now, again, both kind of look similar, but the ripoff is what everyone believes on Twitter. They're like, oh, the WWE just stole this idea. They don't care. What are your feelings on, like, the, the, it looks the same, right? But is it a ripoff? I mean, that's the, the first I've heard about it uh, until you showed me the, the photo. I mean, there's obviously some resemblance. Honestly, I don't care enough. <laughs> you know, it if it doesn't involve me or Chelsea Greed or Brian Myers or the Major Wrestling Podcast, I don't care. I don't have the energy to care about the other uh, news and gossip and rumors. Oh, man, because, yeah, the, the people online were going ballistic Friday night. I, until someone like comes out carrying an internet title, that's when I'll care about stuff like that. Oh, so, yeah. but now, that's interesting because there must be some person in a high school, you know, becoming a wrestler, starting it off, holding an internet championship, I'm guessing. But, like, you haven't discovered that yet. You mean, like, in a backyard fed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like in high school, you know, they're going, they're going, they're turning to training to become a wrestler. They're 18, oh, okay. 19. Right. And it's like, they have some old timer there to sign autographs. And then you have the young wrestlers who are trying to get going. If, if like AEW or, or WWE had like an internet title, then I'd be a little upset. But for, right. for now, I don't care about anybody else. And if that makes me selfish, then so be it. Uh, hey man, yeah. business is business, right? Yeah. Um, 
also coming up in the Survivor Series, and obviously you're not on that card just yet. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. But um, I love Survivor Series so much for the traditional matches. But who would be on your traditional Survivor Series team, past or present? Because I think Ooh. you're you're a big fan of like history of wrestling, so you must sure. be, have a, a a team in mind. Well, are we talking like the the team that strive to survive? Or, strive is to it survive. Five or four, you know, five. five or four. Go with five. Uh, we're you, talking all all timers. All timers. You're the team captain, so you get to pick four oh. people on your team. Okay, Macho Man Randy Savage. I'm gonna go with. Uh, ooh, this is a tough one. Uh, you gotta put Brian Myers on there. Right? <laughs> all right, all right. Why all right. not? All right. Uh, let's, Why not? Let's do uh, Razor Ramon. Ooh, yeah. Let's do Edge. Oh, sure. And uh, let's do Dolph Ziggler. Wow, what, what a, a team! That's a team. We're all gonna be the survivors. Ooze and machismo. I was gonna say you pull up visionaries and be and be the first team, at least at the time, the visionaries, Rick DeMarlo Martel's team, 1990 Survivor Series, first team to clear out an entire team winning, strive to survive, which is one of my favorite Survivor Series of all time. I, I love Survivor Series. Uh and now this year with war games, that's definitely uh a little interesting because I think the Raw versus SmackDown after a while, like, who gives a shit? <laughs> right they're all wearing the t-shirts like oh god like nobody's Listen, like oh my god i bleed red for raw like yeah. come on the, you know? i thought the ugliest thing was the half shirt it was like i have my my real wrestling shirt that i except like rollins had a seth rollins half shirt then the other side oh. was raw and i'm like who put that together who it had reminds the me of wrestlemania 28 it was team teddy versus team johnny oh yeah and it's WrestleMania, right? My first WrestleMania match. A lot of people's, uh, you know, this is their their time. It's WrestleMania. We all get new gear. We're all excited. And before we go out, they hand us either red shirts with John Laurinaitis' face on it or blue shirts with Teddy Long's face. And I love Teddy Long, right? But my WrestleMania gear, I did not envision Teddy Long's face on my <laughs> chest, you know? <laughs> I know. Gr gr growing up as a kid, you're like, I can't wait to have my WrestleMania yeah. moment. With yeah. Teddy Long's face. <laughs> and I love Ted, I love Teddy, but that's not how I envisioned my first WrestleMania match having him on my chest. Did he also block you on Twitter a few months ago? No, uh, he did not. He no, did what? not. No. We're we're La Familia. That's know? that's insane. He did not block me. Wow. I'm a champion, so I, he wouldn't. I like how he said he's like, Oh, I was hacked, but I'm like everyone and of course he probably was hacked, but everyone kept getting it was like someone someone type in wrestling and just found everyone who likes wrestling was like block, block, block. And what I, was, I wasn't blocked. That's so amazing. That. Like, what nope. scam artist is sitting around being like, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to hack Teddy Long and block every wrestling fan. Well, there's the a lot of uh, troubled people on the internet as well. That's true, it's, too. It's, it's, not, it's not such a great place. It no. can be, but not always. No, no. It, it's definitely a strange, strange place. But uh, before we go, though, what's on the horizon for NWA and you and, and, and Tyrus? Because Billy Corgan has done an interview already saying that, like, this is going to be – what NWA fans are going to see you Tyrus one-on-one -on -one at some point in time. He said, so, he said that he made the match. He didn't make the match, but he said, if fans are upset with him as champion, now they'll be happy to see that Matt Cardona and, and him will be fighting over and over again soon. Well, I mean, I hope so because I never lost the title. I was promised a rematch. I was not promised a triple threat scenario. And then I wasn't pinned in that triple threat scenario. So in my mind, I am still the real world champion. I, I really wanted to close 2022 as a, a two-time NWA World Heavyweight Champion. 2022, uh, I mean, I thought 2021 was my su most successful year in pro wrestling, but then 2022 kicked 2021 right in the ass. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited to see what happens in 2023. I, I would love to have the 10 pounds of gold again. Um, you know, it, it's a title with so much legacy and, and tradition and I'm not here to invade NWA. I'm not this outsider. Try, you know, I'm not trying to throw the title in the trash or anything like that. I'm not trying to spray paint it. You know, I want to save the NWA. The NWA needs saving. And uh, yes, Tyrus, he's going to be on Fox News every week with that title. But it is not the national, uh, you know, talk show alliance. It's the National Wrestling Alliance. And I'm someone who will be making those towns, uh, whether I'm defending those titles, whether I'm just walking out with it. You know, whether it's in the background of this interview with my podcast, I should be the face of the company. And Tyrus will be, you know, he, he's great. Give him a, an NWA hat to wear on Fox News. You know, a nice hat. Nice, a nice hat. Yeah, an NWA uh, Empower hat. Yeah, I like yeah, give him a hat. And we could sell that, you know, and make some money on the hat. 
But if you want someone to be your champion, you call me because I, I have changed this game more times uh, than I can count. Uh, and I intend to do it again. And um, I think deep down, whether the locker room wants, wants to admit it or not, I should be the champion. I think Tyrus knows deep down that I should be the champion. I think Billy Corgan knows deep down I should be the champion. I know deep down you know that I should be the champion. And certainly I know that I should be the champion. Uh, I never lost. I didn't lose the triple threat. I didn't win the match, but I was never pinned. So in my mind, I am still the real world champion. This is true. This is true. Uh, yeah. One final question, though, before we go. So many people think that with Tyrus being on Fox, at Fox Nation, your know, streaming platform, NWA could end up there. Has there been talks? Have you heard anything about NWA getting a streaming platform? Not just on Fox. We're anywhere, really. Bro, I am a wrestler. I am not in the office. I don't politic. I, I go to work. I win. And I collect my money. That's it. You know what I'm saying? If there's talk behind the scenes, I would love for NWA to, to continue to grow. Uh, I One thing I don't like, I, I love NWA. I love it. The one thing I don't like is that we're taping these shows. You know, yeah. it's not every week. I want to wrestle. I do wrestle every week, but I want to, you know, be on this. I want power to be live every yeah. week or at least taped every week. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do a show uh, in August. And then like I got a tweet about in October. I'm like, well, what did I do this week on the show? You know what I'm saying? And and, that, and eventually they'll get there. I know they will. In so, January, they announced that there's going to be a live um, taping, though. They, yes. they, said, they said that. So it's going to be. Very, uh, so I'm so very excited happen. for that. Yeah. So I think that's what NWA needs uh, to grow to get to the next step. It, it's just, you know, and, and, and it's growing pains, right? It's, it's going to happen eventually. It's not going to happen overnight. Uh, but I want to be there when it does, because, you know, I think every wrestling company in this day and age, we need. We need the constant, you know, attention and the constant buzz. And uh, it's hard to do that when a show is taped and people can, you know, read the results online. Yes. Yes. I felt like that hurt impact for a long time. At least yeah. now that's like one and another versus NWA, yeah. which is like a pack uh, of eight weeks of tapings. And I just gets released. But, and everyone's but I will, like, I will oh. say this, you know, on the plus side, NWA, what they do every week, you will get an email, not just me, the entire roster with the show right? The lineup of the show, the match graphics for the show to promote that show. Then afterwards, you have the photos from your match to post about the show. Wow. So NWA knows what it's doing. It's doing its due diligence to promote because that's very important, yeah. you know? So they're, even though, yes, the, the matches are taped in advance, they're doing whatever they can to promote those shows. I think they do a great job. And that's one thing I was very impressed with in NWA. As soon as I got there, match graphics right away, uh, your photos, whether backstage photos, in-ring photos, the links to everything. It, it, it's just a great way because everyone needs to chip in and, and be a team player to make this thing thrive. I'm glad you said that because I don't think anyone even knew that. I don't think anyone has heard oh, that. Spoiler. <laughs> well, that's a me, good, yeah, it's good. I think that's social media is important. Yep. It is. There's no denying that. And and when I when I was doing it in 2011, listen, I'm not saying I'm the first person who, who was on social media. I wasn't the first wrestler. I was the first person, I think, to – use it to change my career and i'm very very proud of that but if i didn't start my youtube show someone else would have it would have happened eventually right i just so happened to be right place right time right guy and i worked my fucking ass off damn straight you did well mac i don't thank you being for being here on 10 count i can hear my baby crying that means it's time to tap out and i gotta All go right. See you Folks, later. Thanks for being here. Mac O'Donnell, he helped me one time. No, just kidding. He didn't hang up on me. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye.